The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the speakers and do not necessarily reflect the views or positions of any entities they represent, including Olas Media. Olas Media. I am your host, Mr. Wowser. We are the Doty Connection. Today, we are going to be talking about some very, very deep topics that I feel is going to touch your soul, as well as recommend you to some great products from Cold Fire Extracts and True Classics True OG. Trust me, it's going to hit you hard. Wow, wow. I am your host, Mr. Wowzer, Wowzer, Wowzer. This is TDOC, the hottest podcast in America. Hello. Yes, I'm going to put it out there. We, I'm very excited for the guest that I have today. I have countless, countless stories with this legend. But first, I got to give a shout out to the guys. Shout out to Olaz Media, IBC Media. Shout out to my sponsors, Cold Fire Extracts. What up, Doty? What up, March and Ash? I'm going to take it to one of my singles that's out on Lotus in my head. I performed it over the weekend and got a great reception. A uh, shout out to uh, Puff Party. Uh, we're just in our head, people. Wow. Let's go. Wowzer. Hey, Tsunami. I'm in my head. <laughs> you know how I get that dog. All right, all right. I'm in my head. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. I feel like Larry June, how I run up the digits. Yeah. You can't tell by how I move that I got an extension. Uh-huh. Blowing his eye, counting his money while I big boy kick it. No, it's not impossible if I'm put on that mission. I'm sliding through the heavies on my neck, it's my ism. Million dollars worth of game flies out my mouth, you should listen. I keep baby around because she know how to ease my tension. She's a gold getter, no, she not gold digging. Slid on my amigos and pulled us on cause amigos. I see why you grabbing your girl cause she gon' go wherever we go. It's so easy for her to follow the louse in a Symmetro. I don't want it. That's why I sent her back to you on the Metro. Get it. Classy and ghetto. This ghetto me is electro. Big dog like great days. These puppies smaller than geckos. I was raised up in the era of bad boy versus death row. Keep it that way all the time. I don't even think I just let go. Yeah, that. I ripped it up. I ripped it up. Don't need validation from anyone, you'll be withheld. Gaia trails in the sky as I light up this spliff. Thinking back a couple years ago, I was down in the ditch. Stay on your grind and stay humble, it's the fundamentals. Protect yourself at all times, these signs ain't sentimental. Keep your circle small so your word is kept confidential. Trust me, it's common sense and it's essential. Yeah, that. Wow. And you hear it 
in the cough. Yes, this is the cough drop segment where I give you the best recreational and medicinal cannabis out on the market that I personally use. I'm going to go ahead and take it back to True Classics, True OG. I had them over the weekend at the show that I just told you guys about. They bless my guys with so much good grams. Uh, shout out to True Classic of the stuff that I'm talking about right now. About this strand, True OG always delivered an incredible and consistent taste smelling high that has made it LA's favorite OG and also San Diego's Hello. The uh, signature piney taste and smell, along with the exceptional high, makes it the perfect choice for daytime, nighttime, and every time. Smoke better, live better with True Classics True OG. The TAC percentage is 22. The top reported conditions eased is depression, chronic pain, muscle spasms, nausea, or appetite loss. And the top reported strand flavors is earthy, mango, and pine. Again, like I told you, we smoked a lot of weed at Fun Party, just to give you full context of the event. And once we hit this, we felt everything that we smoked. Hello, it's one of those ones. So go ahead and grab that. Of course, I got to give a big one to the guys, Co-Fire Extracts. What up, Steve? Nick, all the rest of the guys. Go ahead and grab that and bang that. Yes, Lloyd. We're going to bring it to my guests after this. Co-Fire Extracts. It's amazing. The taste is great, clean and pure. It's loud like flowers, super tasty. It has great effects and a long-lasting buzz. This is why Cold Fire is the number one go-to vape in the cannabis space. Cold Fire Extract scored a high 95 from the highestcritic.com. Because of its standard of greatness in every category, even compared to solventless. This is almost equalish, but it is definitely better than solventless. Go ahead and light up that Cold Fire Extracts. Wow, you know it's that time. It's time for our special guest. Welcome back to TDOC. I am your host, Mr. Wowzer. Wowzer. Again, like I told you, I have a special guest and a guest host with me back again. I interviewed you uh, 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 last episode, right? Last week, yeah. Right, right. Shout out to the brother. Big Mario in the building. And let me go ahead and get it to the legend, my guest. You feel me? Helen all the way from, uh, shout out to the D-Town, of course, back to the 9, all the way down to 619. Relative, we got classic stories together. And I actually seen you blossom in a way that'll make any street, you know what I mean? Proud, bro. You really took it to a level that, a magnitude that is... Amazing. So let me go ahead and introduce my guest, Mezzi. What up, gang? What's the deal? What's the deal? You yeah, that. Yeah, that. Time. Right, right. How you been? You know, I'm good. You know me. You know, I try to stay out the way, but you know, I'm up at the road and back and forth and shit. So you know, I get busy. Right. Still got the gold dangling off your neck. Oh, man. Still got them reins looking. Woo, wah, oh, in, 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 real okay. ism on the eye. <laughs> Keep it happy. It's real ism on the eye. <laughs> so. I get that part. So let's go ahead and get down to the meat of this. So uh, the first question I want to ask you is, how was growing up in D-Town for you, Detroit? Um, shit, okay. I'm, I'm going to say it, it was definitely different because just growing up, just the environment itself, you know, we got Pepsi glass and stores, gas stations and shit. You, right. you come out here, you know, everything's so open, you right. know, you really don't got the same precautions they take out there. So you would really think it's sweet, but you know, boys get up on you, it's over with. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> it's done for. Yeah. You feel me? No cap, man. Shout out to the nine, eight, seven mile, the whole 30. It's a lot of cap. You know, we six there. mile in. You feel me? Hey, shout six out to the six mile, mile smoke. Uh, so many Chaldeans out there, and they with the issue. <laughs> no, they no cap, bro. They with the issue, like, and Iraqis. They they it's like Cali. It's like Cali. Yeah, they they lit, but the environment is snow out there, and yeah, it get a little more gully. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, uh, I guess the next question I'm gonna ask you is, how was the transition for you moving to to San Diego? The shit, like I said, it was just a little different. You know, it was a little a little bit more open. You know, you feel me? I, I really, I really loved the way that I was raised out there and transitioned out here because it already taught me how to be a hustler and how already to be a boss, you feel me? So I came out here and like I said, it was open. So I just made my opportunity, you know how that go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. bro's mentality was different when he, when he got here. It was a whole different ball game. Bro, look, I'm a, I told <laughs> Mezzi when we met at the, you remember at the sixth over the first time, and, and like, Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? <laughs> Damn, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. see, bro was fresh out. out. Bro, yeah, I remember bro we, out. it was a crack. Oh, the universe yeah, be nah. working shit a certain oh, way. Everything, yeah. see? Oh, even tap into that. Bro was fresh out. Uh, during his time, I was telling him about the whole shop 
shit. Right. And bro was just like, you know, he hearing it, but he like, yeah, and I ain't really like, you know, I'm going to get Right, because when you inside, you just focus on inside. Yeah, he like, right. bro, I got a plan. This is my plan when I get out. Like, I'm about to get out. I'm going to do this. I'm going to jump into this. Nigga, give me like a week to whoop, whoop, whoop. So when bro, bro he popped home. That. Yeah, he did that. I'm like, here. He like, yeah, that's cool. Like, I take this, but like, bro, I'm showing him like, nigga, this is shot. We chilling money. And he like, yeah, that's cool, bro. But <laughs> like, let me figure out what I'm going to do. I'm right. like, all right, bro, whenever you ready, man, tap in. But it was just like, he, even when he came home, I like, he jumped from Detroit. It was a whole different, like, bro, was, his mentality was different. We, like, chilling with females and playing and just, you know, we ain't taking it serious. But it's like, bro, we all broke. He, like, what y'all doing type shit? Like, y'all just, y'all just chilling. That's what we doing. Because she cute, we just chilling. So it's like, you know. <laughs> right, right. Because life, you know, the it, they go, yeah. You chilling, you just, yeah, you chilling. like, bro. I'm going to smoke some type of way. Yeah, but yeah. it's like, you think about it like, damn, well, we could sit there and get $20. They can imagine <laughs> get $100 that off of that. Boy. Yeah, so. That you know. That, that's it's crazy that Why y'all met up that day. It was, and it's crazy because yeah. Motel Six so alcohol, that that part. Part. <laughs> yeah, on uh, man, Fresh he, out. he kept that for it. Yeah, and Mezzy, I told you then. I'm like, dog, I used to see you surf on the trolleys going like, oh god, yeah, that's you when used. The nigga was he was a pulling soldier. Yeah, he was, <laughs> on my mama, oh, he was catching phase. He was pulling. He was. Grabbing, yeah, he was, you was doing it. And I'm sitting here like, who is this dude? Like, I see him everywhere on the trolley, like everywhere. Like, okay. yeah, you was making your name, gang, for real, for real. So it was dope when I reintroduced to you at the uh, six. So I guess now, since uh, a shout out to Rio for bringing it. So what brought you to work at the trap, at the gray market? The gray market, shit. I'm, I'm, Niggas talk about they getting paid every day. That sound like a lovely situation to me, honestly. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Was that. I thought that was my different. pocket. You know, every day you go home after that, you got something to flip, you got oh, something to mama. do. You like it don't stop. You feel you know how we was doing. Yeah, hell it. Hell it. Go hell that's why they stopped that shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's why they stopped. Uh, you know, uh, honestly, shout out to my cousin Blue Rock. We did some dirty shit at the trailer. <laughs> I was in there too. Hey, but we didn't get caught. Hey. You see who got caught because he was loud. <laughs> I bought a truck and all that shit <laughs> on my kids. <laughs> like, yeah, I did. Yeah, on man. Blue Rock, I did. Christmas, yeah. We take yeah. helicopter trips and all kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah. Bro. You, hey, you got to double back, man, especially man. when they're switching out managers. I double man, back I central. The dirty lot. That oh. shit used to go up. Oh, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Not that dirty. Not that yeah. dirty. <laughs> bro, look, before we get back on track, my funniest memory with you, gang, was when we was at the uh, the trailer. And what's her name was sweeping this shit towards us. You remember that shit? Oh, and it's sweeping the dust and yeah, shit. Yeah, we looking at her and shit. She walking on <laughs> weeds. Manzy wild. Manzy uh, wild. That bruh. bitch think we want to be dirty. Oh my <laughs> mama. She really. Oh, really. <laughs> <laughs> Smoothie. But but like Mario said, you came in and you multiplied it. I seen you get out uh 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 from them locking you in the system and make something out of the system. You feel me? You beat odds. You did it fast, too. You know, I, I put some people on before you even got in, and it took a minute to get them. You know what I mean? You remember my brother T-Row? Yeah. But he liked to do shit on his own. Yeah, yeah. So you could tell him the right shit, but he's like, I'm going to do it my way. I ain't got goofy at And that's bro, but like, nah, it's nah, just but like. Maybe a little it's, different. It's different because it's like, bro, it could be like right now. Somebody could be like, bro, we're going to sign for this, be whatever. He gonna think about it. It ain't just gonna be like you, bro. You could throw some, but it's like I'm gonna really think about the process right, and, and how everything goes. It ain't down. just gonna be jump off of what look good at the moment, right? You know, like, right and that's why right. me and bro talk every single day. It's like I could be digging off head, like I'm about to do this, You're like bro. Well, okay, we're thinking about this. And then once this happened, thinking about this, and you like, right. okay, make bro. it make sense. Yeah, like, right, right. Me telling bro, come to. The Come to the shop. I'm like, nigga, I just got out. Like, what did you talk yeah, like? Right, right. Now what you did you me mean? To, like, you, you want, want me just to, to but jump he, right in it? Yeah. yeah. But it, it, made, it, it made sense. It made sense. It made sense. Yeah, it made sense. Hell yeah. It made sense. We knew how to get around it. Hey. We knew how to get around it, and sure. it was a beautiful time. Of and course. Then just imagine the people you meet. Bro, we met a lot. You feel me? The, the, the type of connections you get, like you don't even gotta keep doing it if you don't really, if you really don't want to. You could have ran into anything, anybody. It's just about how you present yourself and how your mouth people work. You right, feel me? right, right, right. Because of course, yeah, everybody looked at us like wolves dangling meat, but it wasn't even that. You know what I mean? Nah. We was getting our chili, and you had to respect it because we were doing it in a way that they were scared to do it. You know what I mean? A lot of them wanted to get on, but they didn't get on. You get on, trying to say? But it's like at the end of the day, you give everybody. The <clears throat> The same opportunity. It's right. like, bro, you want a you want a job, I can put you on. But it's like, once you get on, you think 
it's just you just sweet. chilling right. like, like they think nigga, that. what no like they think that it's like what they say when they give you a bitch what you gonna do with it oh my mama <laughs> oh my mama you got or not what you gonna do oh my mama but you know what I'm glad you said that because you know I'm glad how I learned like I learned later like I got in I'm thinking it's li- you know yeah of course and then we was at depot together you know mm-hmm. what I'm talking about relative made it clear to me I'm like oh okay hmm. so it got to be a little different in here you know what I mean and a lot of people just pick up the ball and don't want to shoot it after that. They're like, oh, okay. Oh, the whole back, bring in plastic yeah. guns. and That shit was like, yo, bro. Yeah. You walk in jail, bro. Not, like, jail not, not like how like the, like you locked up, uh, but it's just kind of like, if you outside and you saying you doing a certain situation, you from somewhere, when you get up in there, you got to meet these certain people and, that's from, from these really places. from these places. Right. So it's like, God. man, I want to sit there and you say, humble, yeah. like you do your shit at the shop, it's cool, but it's yeah. like, bro, it's two sides of the people. So it's it like, is. It is. it's the people that's like, they're on wooty whooping, and then it's people that's just very calm, quiet, and then you say something out of pocket, you like, oh, nigga, like, hold up. So, yeah. so I'm at relative at Olive, you know what I'm talking about? Olive? Oh, you yeah, know what I mean? I'm like the last one to get trained, because. Walt went through some stuff after that, after I got trained by him. But that day I met, and he know who I'm talking about, you feel me? And I just can't say his name, and I'm hoping he do. But he's funny. <laughs> you know what I mean? It rhymed with menace, you feel uh, me? You know exactly who I'm talking uh, about. <laughs> nah, I have to, though, because he came and apologized when, before, I, you know, at Troy when we was at the park. Yeah. And, you know, gave me gave it up and, and had to, but it's because he did a lot of funny shit. But you was, you know what I mean? You was yeah. eating. That's what I said. Like, yeah. you came in doing that. He walked up on me like that when I first started. What's up? I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. He, yeah. He's but funny. that's what I said. Everybody got to be, man, I just tell everybody, bro, be yourself at the end of the day. You like, got to, there. You can't be Mr. Tough to, Guy and then, and then it you ain't got your homies. Or, no, I ain't got my little brother. brother. I ain't got him. It's just. It's by yourself and he getting at you he too. turning down. Mm. I think like, you got to keep that same energy, whatever you were saying, and then the DM, a Text like bro, keep that same energy. You ain't gonna always have whoever you close with. Yeah, yeah. I mean so everybody got their own stuff to yeah. watch. So, so, and that was another thing that bro was like, it was another thing out there. They don't run in packs. Yeah, they mm. running like, nigga, I'm going to the store. I need to go grab you, grab him. We going to the mall. Bro was on some solo shit. I'm like, bro, you need to. I need to what? <laughs> like, what you mean? Yeah, I ain't the way. Yeah, no, yeah, no, nah, nah, yeah. nah. I'm a 91 baby, yeah, so I'm that, a dolo that, solo. Hey, look, that's how I was yeah. throwing shit on the hat. I, yeah, I, no, I, I seen it. You on. know, I had to throw you it out there. You feel me? Stop playing. We 90 babies. That part. We ain't Real, never yeah, yeah. travel with somebody. We're not you know, saying you know, that. Now. Ain't nobody else on that. Nah, is I'm just saying, it was the generation at the time. Like, bro, this is like, nigga, you want six people just to go to the mall. Nowadays, you got to do that. Oh, yeah, Plaza No, I'm saying, like, this back then. So when he came at the time, when he came, it's like, bro, it's like, nigga, you have to be yourself. So that's why I refer- reference that shit back to jail. So it's like, if you go in there by yourself, we all go right now. We getting put in a different dorm. They splitting you yeah. up. Yeah, yeah, we ain't, we ain't yeah, going in together. Yeah. We ain't about to be like, nigga, the three hearts. Like, no, no nigga. Not. You gonna be you, me, right, him, right, everybody. Right. So the only time y'all together is in the whole Yeah, so. so it's like, yeah. once you know that, bro, you gotta go in there everywhere. It ain't even just the shop. We just, it just got dangerous being at the shop. It was weird shit that happened at the shop to where you think that, but it's just like, bro, Everybody was a self. You can't fake it, nigga, for years and months, and it's only a certain point before somebody pull your card. Yeah, and we seen it. Yeah, dead ass. We what? Yeah. We seen a lot of niggas. Cards. Yeah, on my mama, we did, and we seen who stayed. Yeah, yeah. nigga, we see seen you, who stayed. You were five, like nigga, I was what? <laughs> <laughs> Me I hug. mean, it's only so much you could take from a customer. You know what I mean? Especially oh, yeah. when you're trying to be respectful. But when they trying to push lines, and and and, and it's some workers that we worked with. I parked one, you know what I mean, <laughs> in El Cajon. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, I had to because he was a weird like like, and I'm gonna say it on wax. Like, <laughs> look, this this the thing. Like, like when you're waiting for me to do something to make you not mess with me no more, that's when I think you're a weirdo. We were cool before then. You find one thing, and the thing was dumb. Like, look, bro, he found $100 on the floor. He like, I gave it back to him. I'm like, why would you do that? Karma. I'm like, I don't believe in that shit. <laughs> he like, bro, you're weird. And getting on my, my character and everything, he got on me hard at Troy. Yeah. I kept it together because LT, like, man, we work together. All right? <laughs> but now you banging on me <laughs> in Oklahoma? <Oklahoma? laughs> yeah. Man, you're going to, yeah, I'm going to check you then because you're not even a fighter. So. <laughs> You got your hands like this and shit, spitting on your pants and stomping on your shoes. Come on, bro. Man, you ever think that should ever come back though? Like as a as a one, like as a, a shop, anything. And shit. Nah. I mean, yeah. Just not out here. 
because they, okay. it's the wave already okay. done got yeah, the okay. wave and done processed and went out here already. You feel me? Like you feel me? Yeah, it, is, it, it, it had its time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas is going bye bye for that now. You feel me? <laughs> Niggas ain't trying to go bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? So you go to a little different state, different city. Yeah, it's still. Yeah, booming. you're gonna make yeah, it jug, sure. especially yeah. if you everything you learn here. Yeah. And 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 I'm gonna ask you, I, I, fuck, you know. I'm but what what you learn here that already been happened somewhere else already. You know what I mean? I get mm. it. So there's some there's somebody from a different somewhere that's gonna start it up anyway. Like they're gonna start. Like I said you go from a different state, see how open it is. Free opportunity. That's what. When you get older, what you do? You invest in shit and you save money more. You feel what I'm saying? So everybody, they moving around. They trying to see what the investment is. They trying to see where the money to lick right, at. You feel right, me? Right, right, right. Niggas not just, you feel me, just moving around looking for a job, you know? But to give Mario credit, it, it says a lot about you guys together because you guys took that when, you know, everything, of course, the fantasy failed, you know, for my oh. listeners, and and still made it thrive and put okay. the homies on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what I mean? So I I I, I you ain't that gotta was, that explain. Was, that was yeah. that was right. No, exactly. Yeah, that, that, yeah for exactly. sure. Yeah, we we had to do that. You feel me? Just off of the type of people we is. You feel what I'm saying? Right. Not right. not no type of no pressure or nothing. But I'm just the only thing I want to say, nigga. If niggas was a little bit more united out here, you could have went really far. I know. Niggas could have went way farther. But I you know. feel me? You know, it, niggas get to they get thinking to themselves, and you know, you know how that gets. I could do that. Yeah. They start doing and that. And never do it. <laughs> And now you're hurt. I haven't seen it. <laughs> and where's that? <laughs> yeah, I'll lie. Yes, Lord. Should stay with that? No, no cap. Show you know, me something. Like, and, I, and I'm saluting y'all as y'all really. You know, uh, I, like, I'm really clapping that because I even told y'all then off record. Like, the fact that y'all did that, you know all the fuck shit we went through in there with what? the owners and shit and yeah. getting this docked and pay being held and... The fact that y'all said, fuck that, I'm going to go against this shit. It just but real entrepreneurial was. shit. That was the... I swear, bro, the whole me getting into the shops, seeing the opportunity was like, bro, if I could get in, get the trust, get the the, the support of right, right. the people, then, then I, got I could get my people on type shit. Oh so it wasn't like you trying to be the person and give out. Like, nah, bro, you old enough, you could do this. It's like, bro, yeah. pull up. You get your money. It don't matter. You you have an ankle brace. I don't give a fuck. Like, bro, if you want to get some money, nigga, you going to take pull this up. risk? Pull up, bro. Pull make up. It, and really make it make sense. So it's like, it's a handful of individuals that took that and ran with it. So to go back to our situation, it was a group thing. It's like it can't be just me or it can't be me or him. It's like, it's like, bro, I got this, so you got this, so we're going to put this together. Okay, this is what we need, this is what we need, and we're going to. How's it going to work without a team? Exactly. See what I'm saying? It ain't, so. yeah, it ain't never going to. You feel me? You got you always going to need a team, nigga. It's always somebody that sells where you lack at. Right, yeah. right. Because this is business. Yeah. When I'm going to the store on my dolo, that's personal. But business, you got to have yeah, somebody, sure. a team. You got to. Yeah. yeah. Sure. And Everybody see, need a team on guard. You, you got to. I ain't no really yeah. one person. Because if, nah. if I'm fucking up, I got to slow down and listen to somebody who I'm going to listen to. My boy, for sure. You know, going to let me know that you how we fucking up. This where you fucking up. And then we're going to get my head right. And my I'm going to get mom. back on, you feel me, on what I got to do. Yeah. It's like, yeah. be real stubborn and prideful, bro. It's like, man. Like that. Yeah, yeah, and I am. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I take that. Like, Learned this nigga, it. everybody, bro. It's like if if you really think about, like, damn, bro, I don't listen to nobody. Or like, I think it's best for myself. But it's like, bro, you got people you genuinely love and got care for. So it's like, bro, if they tell me, if he tell me something, like, bro, you was out of pocket. If I did something, it's just like, all right, man, you understand yeah, it. So it's like, it's certain people. And you know why though, Rio? Because we 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 come from that club. Yeah. So it's like, you can't tell me nothing, bro. I'm going to figure right. it out type shit. Which, but it's like, right. somebody in the that, same that thing is like, nah, you, you fucking right, up. You like, okay, right. damn. Relative like, front line blower. Yeah, like, you know nah, what I mean? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got we got them times. I'm, I'm going to listen to nah. Especially relative, Mezzy, you know you litty. Yeah. <laughs> you know you, look, okay. Okay, hey. this is the last one. Look, yeah. remember we was at El Cajon, like, relative came in. You know, this is my guy. So I'm like, yo, what's up with you, really? We say a little joke and shit. Somebody say a joke with relative. <laughs> he don't know them, though. Yeah. He, like, trying to joke like me. He looked at that. Fucked up. Right, walked in the room <laughs> with me, really. He got me messed yeah. up. I'm like, <laughs> he... <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit! Bro, because he had that big nigga spook. No cap. <laughs> he had that big nigga spook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. Back on track. So, uh, I guess, uh, did you think the gray market would be around at this current time? Like I said, uh, shit ain't nothing built to last. You feel me? We try and build it to last. <laughs> you feel me? We not Elon Musk, nigga. Everything right. it crash eventually. You Everything feel me? temporary. Right. So what to do is get the most out of what you can at the moment, you feel me? 
Don't yeah. don't cut yourself short. You know what you're worth. That part. Go get it. That part. That part. I mean, honestly, like, I didn't think it would be so soon. Yeah. You know what I mean? But powers that be, you know what I mean? I mean, powers that be. I thought it would, yeah. I thought, like, now it would be. Yeah. But but the signs was in front of us. The motherfuckers was. getting hit every week. Yeah, yeah bro. You got to think. Throwing them. Busting them bitches down. <laughs> and yeah, like you were the When I got caught in that raid in El Cajon, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. And then she, yeah. I ain't gonna go into detail. When I knew it was done, like working with nigga, the FBI, I said, okay. Yeah, like, oh, this, I'm out. This, 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 like you, I'm this out. A whole, this ain't yeah, this punk ain't ass sheriffs. This it's, ain't, it's the you know, feds. Like, this is like. Yeah, government. You the country, yeah, America. Said, I'm out. Bro, yeah. You can't pay me a thousand dollars a day, nah, man. Fuck y'all. Like, nah. Okay. Nah, yeah. you got the country on me now? Yeah. I'm out. <laughs> that nigga. What the county? Yeah. Like, you got the country on me, guy. Yeah, fuck with it. I'm out. <laughs> Proudly. Like, I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Nah. But 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 you see what happened after that? It trickled down, and, and you see folks try to live what we did, what you did, what Rio did, and, you know, the rest of the guys. Huge shout-out to D. White. I'm going to go ahead and give you that E. What up, Elliot? Rest of the guys, like, oh yeah, Sherm, I gotta give it to y'all too, cause I forgot. You feel me? When they KP, yeah, big whatever. Egg, KP, Pierce, all right. you oh yeah, shout out T White too. What up, oh, gang gang? <laughs> big T White, my yeah. nigga, that's a real <laughs> nigga. Yeah. Shout out T White, Relative. that nigga, different. Where well, he was my with first me that night. Time meeting whoop, him was very different. Yeah, he's, he's litty. <laughs> yeah, he, that man is brother. Yeah, bro, I'm serious. I fuck with him, bro. Yeah, relative lit, relative lit. But again, like I said, I thought it would last. I did not think that it would would crash. But I'm glad that we're okay. We made it out. Ain't nobody in the feds. Yeah. We're still shining. Yeah, we still got the bag. <laughs> and now we can walk around with that with us. I mean, we legends out here, relative. <laughs> no cap. I mean, if you in that section of Dago, then you know us from coming to the trap to get your weed because you didn't want to pay 64 watt. You feel me? I don't care. So. But you know what's the best part, though, bro? It's like what we, what we, what I tell my, my brothers and uh, homies, everybody, bro, it's just, it's like if you be humble, then it's normal. Right. It's just like if you get an opportunity, it's like nigga, okay, babe, my little brother make it rapping. Or he make it rapping. Somebody make it rapping, bro, and he still pull up and you still normal. Showing love, drinking on the block. Yeah, like just uh, spreading normal out shit money. that you be doing. Yeah, like just normal shit. And I'm shit. not even from out here, so yeah. nigga should have been grateful. That boy. That's what I'm saying, bro, from a whole nother region, nigga, coming over here and it's like you meeting these people and it's like if you solid, you really breaking bread with these niggas. So it wasn't like that's why I don't I don't I don't like I don't dig it. I don't I don't walk around with nothing normal. I feel like it was normal because if somebody was in the other position or if he was in the position, I would expect that because it's like, bro, we all struggle. So it's like we know how it is. That yeah, way. it's like Come it's on, different now. if a nigga's on. It's just me and these niggas on. He's like, bro, it's like damn, you even give a nigga opportunity, like, bro, like, mama. let me feed my family, let yeah. me you know do yeah. the shit you do, and it's like you gonna post, you gonna do what you want, so. Niggas is watching. They gonna see Niggas you. Niggas is watching. They gonna see you. What? Yeah. And it ain't like, bro, I'm gonna see. I don't. I'm, I can't wait to see this nigga. Nah, bro, I work the same schedule. Nigga, oh, seven mama. to seven. Nigga, I work the seven to three in the morning. Nigga, what? three in the morning to three in the afternoon. Oh my mama. Nigga, yeah, yeah, so it, it, it ain't like niggas is extra I'm hard, but it's like, bro, you gotta live your life and be normal with the shit that comes. Exactly. Blessings and and even when and shit the, bad. The yeah, yeah, the trials. Yeah, in the trials. And That's why I be like, nah, every tell everybody, bro, it's normal. It's normal if you if you humble. And yeah. It's, it's different if you come from something that you just like shit on niggas type shit. Yeah, you're a weirdo. Yeah, nigga. But I don't see them yeah. around. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, I do. And they not on what we on yeah, nah. at all. For sure. Yeah, so go ahead and much power to you. I ain't disrespecting. I'm just going ahead and giving you this blessing on air. Hello. Yes, Lord, from the sewer to entrepreneur. That nigga said thank you. From the sewer to entrepreneur. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Lord. So, again, we talked about the music. You know what I mean? I'm a huge fan of what you do and what you did back in uh, in the Wap Wap, uh, dropping the pro. I think you dropped the project, right? Or you was gearing uh, up to drop yeah, it. Yeah, I, I was gearing up to drop when I ended up dropping like three, four songs just on, on YouTube. But like I said, I stopped that shit real short. But I, I fucked up because too many people asked me about it to me not to be going on and putting out at least something. You feel me? Like, it don't take nothing but five minutes, ten minutes to, you know, throw something out there. Oh, my mama, right? You know what I mean? You already got it made. Right, so go ahead yeah. and wap. Yeah, I just be bullshitting. Yeah, right, you feel right, me right. on that on, on that on that part. But you know, like I like you said, I was just thinking about that shit today. Like you feel me? I just gotta get in there and find some hot shit and remix that shit. Cause I've been feeling some shit. A little dirt dropped a little hot little thing. I'm feeling that too. Right. You feel me? Right. I gotta hop on something. Got you gassed up. Right. Right. You know, you right. Me? You know, part of that too is you feel me. I don't like to rap about just anything. You feel me? I like to rap about shit. I 
do. Go right, do. exactly. So I got to go experience some shit to have some shit to put to down. Write down. You feel me? Yeah. I mean, I can't just go put down anything. Nah, it's not gonna be me. I ain't gonna feel it. Nah, nah, nah. Shout out to the artists that do, but I, I, I can't do that either. Yeah. <laughs> and I, you work with them and you see them. They're just so happy capping, and you like yeah. really like. Like, bro, all right, I you, all. right, you following this formula that 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 doesn't seem to work. <laughs> but what makes that? What make? How how do you lock in and just what, what makes this? I'm asking both of y'all, but how is it easy for you just to lock in and be like, nigga, this is what I'm about to do a song? Because I know like they they both know how to rap right. easily, but right. it's just like I wonder what's your process to just jump in. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't even got no process. Like for me. I, I might hear, like I said, I might hear another rapper like Lil Durk. He put out a hot shit that uh, Dirk, Carter Dirk, Carter Smirk, whatever that shit is, go crazy. He put that shit out. Now, just the beat, when I hear a hard ass beat or something, you feel me? It make me want to rap and shit. And I'll be thinking this shit in my head and it make me like, okay, let me go find a beat or something. You feel what I'm saying? And just in that moment, I just go try and go crazy. And I just get, I booked the studio like probably the next day because I'm really not into too much writing and shit. You feel me? I'm just off the brain. That part. You know? That part. Off the top. You know? For me, it's more like an experience for me, like right. therapy. Like, I got to go through some shit right. and then write that shit down and then go to the lab and then knock it out for real. So it's more like an experience and therapy for me. That part. Go ahead and get the listeners your name, too, so oh, they yeah, know. It's Boss Talk the Godfather out here. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, hello. Uh, talk to me. Yeah. The Godfather, you hear me? Fuck with my uh, nigga Meezy. That boy. That uh, boy. Sir. You know what I mean? And we got to do something. I don't know why we haven't, but I remember I, I told you, like, go ahead and get your shit off and... We'll get to it because I wanted you to get comfortable with your own project. Yeah, that, that's when I was just out. starting. That's probably why you was getting it in. Yeah, I, I was just. I, that's my first time. I mean, because me and oh boy, because you. I mean, because that was your studio. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out tsunami. Shout so, out yeah, tsunami. Start, yeah, tsunami. Yeah. You feel me? I fuck with you. you remember he did that Passion, thing for yeah, us. Yeah, he did the little guitar, little thing on a little beat yeah, for me. I yeah. remember. Yeah, yeah he was. <laughs> yeah, that nigga's in there. He said, "I got something for you." Okay, get up. Yeah, that's crazy. That's tsunami. Yeah, but but but. That was a tricky time. Yeah. That was a tricky time. And, and and you know I cherish you and I love you to death. I, I definitely see you as a, a, a blood brother of mine and Tsunami as well. And I just didn't want nothing to happen right there. You know what I mean? <laughs> because uh, where I'm, I'm at. Know, yeah, nah, I'm nah, yeah, nah, I'm telling you. Like, you know, we could do it for the, we yeah, know what nah, we talking yeah, about. Though, yeah, you know nah, I mean? that's all like. But I, I, we, had a, we had a boss yeah, talk. And, yeah, and, we and talked about it. Yeah, yeah, it was. I, got not, I feel see where you coming from, though. No, 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 and I feel where you was coming from. Yeah. Don't think I didn't. It's just, <laughs> it's just you know, a nigga, big, like, when, when a nigga, getting older and cause, shit. Cause, you know, a nigga just wanted to, do, I'm going to go, my daily wrote, my program, no matter what anybody say, you feel me? That's just how I am. Right, You feel right, what I'm saying? Right, Nobody right. going to tell me to stop doing my program. Right, right. So, you know, right. I, that's the only reason why I really was, you feel me, even got hot a little bit, but I understood where you was coming from, because I'm like, yeah, I wouldn't want my shit, you feel me? If it's a place of business, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't want my shit yeah. to go up like that either. So, you know, I feel you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out. <laughs> y'all see any of y'all change your style? Or y'all like, because I remember back at the shop, we used to be like, your style is different. Yeah, so, yeah. You got a, you got a, I mean, you got a style. Bro got a style, and you got a style. Like you're all I really don't, different. though. That's the difference with me. You I mean, you, me? like, not a style. I put, like, you in your own lane. Like, there nobody go. can't be like, I'm gonna do I can't rap like you. Like, if right. like if a nigga was rapping a song, you can't sit there and just yeah. be like, right, right. Like, you can't, you got to really know that, or you got to really, yeah. like, listen to his music to, to understand it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And then, like, bro's rapping about... His experience, what he going through. Yeah, he was bro rapping happen. about wherever something can happen right now. He about to sit there, yeah, pin it up, pin it out, right? Maybe right. not post it or whatever. Just sit there and just be like, I'm about to write this down for maybe for the next time. So I'm like, do y'all see y'all jumping into a different lane? I jump lanes, you know that. Yeah. Like like when it comes to music, <coughs> I do everything, any sound, any genre. I got it all out. Mm -hmm. I got over 300 songs out. That, 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 my yeah. Over twenty albums, you know what I mean. Seventy four singles, yeah. yeah. That's because he 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 really focused on his career too. I love you music. Know, he let it do what he do. So we talked about yeah. him starting, and you know what I mean. Big Ant's another one. Like yeah. I believe in. I I still do. That's why we gonna talk off record and, and get that shit set up. You know what I mean, and get them right because we got some shit popping. You just switch your shit. Could you rap about like some life shit, or could you? It's just like all about. Nah, I could rap about. I could. Rap about whatever it really don't matter you feel as long me? as i'm experiencing something and i feel that shit to like to the core i'm gonna write something down oh my mama for sure 
See, Rio, because we got to get Rio in. So, Rio, what I want you to uh, understand is, dog, you got too much ism to just be sitting there not revving. That, that's what I'm saying. Too. Bruh, find a little flow. Stick nah, with that. I swear, that was my know? first time listening. To when the we did mic. the podcast last time. So, it's <laughs> different. I'm like, okay. Should have seen relative. Hey, yeah, yeah, first time. Yeah. Yeah. He said, that's how I sound. Okay, Mark, he over Mark. here, Dodie, he just like, yeah, well, I'm okay, right. Yeah, hey, you know, well, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah okay. <laughs> okay, so my last question is, uh, what's next for Mezzi? Shit, like I said, you know, I'm a big investor. You feel me? So, you know, you know, if you know me, you know. <laughs> you know exactly how the program ran. So, you feel me? Just like to <laughs> let me know something. I'm a big investor. You got to log it. Hell. Yeah, that. Yeah, that. So, man, we're going to end it on that note. Thank you again for joining. I'm going to have you join the Topics and Solutions segment where we, uh, you know, we talk about some things and we get your guys' opinion on it and I get some solutions. We'll be right back after this. Tavares Jordan. TDOC, Mr. Wowser, Wowser, back with Mezzi, Mario, and my guy, guy. So look, this is what we're going to talk about today. I talked about it with him last week, right? It's like dummy rocks, you feel me? Folks is doing that with, with, with weed. And honestly, with the Wooty we worked at, they was doing it with that weed. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's in, yeah, we were smoking intoxicating hemp. You know what I mean? It wasn't even real flowering. It wasn't even real flowering? Duh, they dummy rocked us. Ooh, my money, man. <laughs> And they made, and sure they made they got their chili for it. Huh? They got their chili. Mm -hmm. They got their chili. So sometimes packet is e juice for vaping and as edibles. Most synthetic cannabinoids are sold as dry plant material, sprayed with acetone and bombing fluid or other solvent laced with lab made psychoactive substances. It's not just a U.S. problem, it's become an international problem. It's over 320 different synthetic cannabinoids sold on an illegal market as of February 2022. Ooh, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, how you feel about that, guy? Shit, honestly, like you feel me, I'm I always been a type of motherfucker. Like you feel me, you get your paper how you get your paper. I can't really discriminate on how the next motherfucker get their paper because I don't want nobody to talk about how I'm gonna get mine. You feel me? So get your paper. Get your paper. <laughs> what? I got your thoughts on it last week. Let, let's go ahead and get yours on it. How you feel about the dummy rock cannabis? Shit, how I feel about it? Uh, shit, really. Like, like, say you pick up from the homie. Right. You know what I mean? Oh, the homie band. But it's your homie, it, right? But you yeah. can't really tell. You know what I mean? And oh, you that's smoke, different. Yeah, and you that smoke. That ain't my homie. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That ain't my homie. Nigga, this <laughs> shit got me feeling some type of way. What? Nah, I'm, nah this that shit. That's like a nigga put something in your blunt. Oh, my <laughs> mama, bro. It's like they you spiked doing? it. It's like they spiked it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So my solutions is make sure you're getting tested and safe cannabis, uh, cannabis from a legal retailer. Do not support unregulated cannabis. And if you got children that see candy around and some edible, Make sure you double check the package. Hello. Yes. Oh yeah, put that. Away from your kids, man. That shit is wild. It's a problem right now. What, they, products being by the end? Kids is eating edibles. Kids eating to, edibles. Yeah, and they eating illegal shit, so it's 400 milligrams, 500 milligrams. Yeah, just saying, getting a whole packed. Hey, if you so don't know what's wrong with them. They don't know how to put that shit up in a cabinet, huh? Nah, they don't. They're like, oh. you know what? No, it's candy. I'm going to put it in your snack cabinet. Yeah. yeah. Looking at us. Goofy. <laughs> goofy. <All right>. Goofy. <laughs> no, he's right. They goofy as a mother. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I can't wait to talk about this with you. State of <laughs> hip hop. Juicy J says rap music sales are down 40% in 2023. Though it's unclear where Juicy got the 40% number from, his claims about hip hop 2023 decline certainly has some element of truth to them. For example, it took a half a year for hip hop to earn its first number one. So according to the latest report he read, Juicy says rap music sales are down 40% and it's up to rappers, producers, composers, and engineers alike to reroute the course. What you guys think about that? Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely up to them because you know it's they they fall. You know it. Look, look what's trending right now. You feel me? Like you ain't got like. It, 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 I mean, I ain't I ain't knocking it, but it, like to me, it's just like 
it's whatever because it ain't really no message to it. You feel me? You can't really get no knowledge from it, you know? I mean, you can go dance to it, but that's what the TikTok generation is. You feel me? They dancing nowadays. You feel yeah. me? You know, we, like yeah, we said, we 90 babies. Yeah, so we know the eat ounce. Yeah, we, yeah. We, want, we want you to spit we something to, to it when, and let us we, learn something. Right, when he said he sold coke, he actually sold coke. Yeah, that's he why he's uh, rapping. Yeah, you know what I mean? He <laughs> that's really to change his block. life. Yeah. I saw it on Drink Champs. They were saying that rapper used to be in a steam profession back then. Used to be proud to I used to be proud yeah, to be a rapper. back then to tell people that I rap. I don't even like the name no more. It's like close to calling me a whoopty now. Yeah, because they that's how they oh he's another rapper. <laughs> yeah. That's how they do it nowadays. Yeah. You know, everybody don't got the uh, splash to rap. go with the sauce though. <laughs> <laughs> everybody ain't got that. On God. Yeah. On God. Purpose of rapping. You just you, you just know, whooping and whopping. You feel like yeah, it's wild. Yeah, bro, I see it, bro. I, I see it, I, I look at them, I'm like, word. And then when they hear you, I swing. they hear you, they're like, how you do that? I, I don't know. I'm doing me, though. Being practiced. I know I'm doing me. I ain't copying whatever <laughs> hey. you're trying to copy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, And he's right. It's up to us. You know what I mean? I've been taking it upon myself to make very creative music. You know what I'm saying? Stepping outside the box and making it hit. You know what I mean? But it is up to us to make it not look like that. We can either follow the trend and keep talking about sticks or whatever, or exactly. we can get real creative about it. Put some emotion. And still talk about the same shit. Yeah. That's our story. So I don't know what else to talk about. Yeah. I know that I'm still on that time. <laughs> yeah. I'm a, uh, 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 so you get what I'm saying? So I'm going to talk about that. I, I just feel like how, like, I just throw a random artist out there, Peasy. Okay. How you talk about like how he he yeah. motivate you to get some money? Yeah, he do. You feel what I'm saying yeah, like shit not. I, I just like shit like that. You Baby smooth face shit. Ray. Yeah, you know some yeah, smooth uh, shit. Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the accidentally uh, accidental shit or whatever. What's his name called? Who? I forgot his what name, but he like? from Detroit. Sada. Nah. Baby. Nah. Uh, Grizzly. Jay. Rio the young Oh Rio, oh, oh yeah. niggas like that right now. Yeah, oh, yeah Rio. Yeah, yeah, that's Rio. Yeah, yeah. nigga go crazy. He from Flint. <laughs> yeah, go crazy. Oh, he from Flint. Yeah, that's why he lady. <laughs> yeah, Flint different. I got a relative from Flint. Uh, matter of fact, uh, our last uh, guest host, uh, Beans, my cousin from Chicago, his brothers from Flint. They they different. Yeah. He's one of the gr craziest finesses that I know, literally. Right. <laughs> yeah, get some paper. He right. knows how to do that. He's yeah. really good. That's that's what they tell you. If you don't do nothing, at least go get a package. <laughs> <laughs> so relative talking that is him. So right. I got some solutions, right? Originality. Step outside the box, unite amongst artists, and be different. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying start rapping some boom bap conscious. Yeah. Eon. I'm just saying, like, Be if you're gonna do it right, don't sound like the next man. Yeah. yeah. With some don't shit out there. right. Like, why copy what they doing? I know it's art. We supposed to, but find a way to innovate it. Cause everybody that I listened to growing up in the '90s was original. There was yeah. one Tupac. There was one Biggie. There was one Cameron. You know, there I was know. one Jadakiss. Yeah. There was one Jeezy. There was one yeah. Gucci. Yeah. One Dem Franchise Boys. One DJ Unk. One T Pain. I can go down the list until it's a combunction of shit together. Dog, I thought Roddy Rich was from Georgia. No. Nah. Bro from Compton. I know. <laughs> when I read that shit, because he, cause he's caught, it worked. Yeah. But that's not a California. I'm not saying, like, you know what I'm saying? He just got his own I, shit going on. Right, yeah, right. He got his own little flow. He, 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 he sounded like, yeah. sound like old Future. I listened to Future back then before he blew up. I used to put homies on him. He got the old Future flow. That nigga's a dirty sprite. That's how I go. <laughs> dirty sprite. No cap. True story. Y'all that. Uh, yeah. Streets calling. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. So, uh, man, Mezzi, I want to thank you again for joining me. That's the last of my topics. I always leave my lesson, uh, listeners with something deep. Uh, I'm going to just go ahead and drop it like this. The way that I feel about... Right now, there's a, a war going on. I seen something on Instagram. Okay, okay. And, and one of the homies posted something that I felt was disrespectful because I, I fuck with him. Mm. But it was saying, you know what? I was I was there for the Black Lives Movement Matter or La Black Lives Matter movement for, with you guys. Yeah. Nobody's here for me for this Israeli shit. I'm deleting all you guys' music <laughs> that I did with y'all. <laughs> okay, and, and so I look up one of the rallies that he worked with and he deleted it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So I, I know I call my rally. I'm not trying to be messy, but I kind of am. I want to figure out what's going on. I think so. I kind of am. You know what I mean? I've Always stay focused on the cause that makes sense to you. 
Don't just jump into any cause. I didn't jump into the Black Lives Matter cause. That's something that matters to me every day. Yeah. Huh. And that wasn't created by our people. That so look, bro, like, like, and to anybody that feels like they're just jumping into things, even Righteous. supporting what we got going on, don't jump into something that your heart is not really into. If you're doing it just to get kudos from me or a community, okay, okay. Hmm. But if you coming in like a real soldier, then you're going to get a real soldier out of me. You get what I'm saying? So I just feel like that was disrespectful. <laughs> so it is. And this is little, bro. So it's like I'm, I'm being real light with it. But yeah. you don't do that. You know what I mean? My grandma always said, if you do something out of love, you don't bring it up. Yeah, nah, I stand on that. Yeah, don't yeah. do nothing. You don't me. throw shit in people's yeah, faces. I and do, about, I don't care if it's two dollars. My point exactly. Don't yeah. bring it up. I'm so did I tell you to you do the, the black? Did, did you? Yeah. Oh my mama! Did you see me out there riding with them? No, yeah, nah. no disrespect, but I did not do that. <laughs> I did not do that in San Diego. No, I did not. Yeah. You know what I mean? So no disrespect, but follow a cause that makes sense to you. This cause don't even make sense to what you are and what you got going on. This is Palestinians. Yeah. That's not you. <laughs> I'm not going to step into a cause that I'm not really about or believe in. So in that I'm not representing racially. So remember, people always follow the cause that is true to your heart and never, never throw something in somebody's face. I, <laughs> <laughs> and man, everybody ain't got to have it. You ain't always got to voice your opinion. I had to learn that. Like, yeah. you might not like somebody. You might not like what they stand for. You know, you could have your opinion amongst your peoples. Right. But you ain't always got to go public yeah be a see somebody and be like bro I don't mess with your type unless it's like something different but yeah like, some like, internal yeah, shit yeah, like but personal like, but bro you ain't gotta i don't mess with these people or like because they support and you, you public about yeah, it. do what you do bro you just call called up like, keep that shit personal yeah <laughs> you got nothing to do with me whatever how you wake up ain't got nothing to do with me but today you wake up mad and just take it out on everybody yeah. i know you regret it because yeah. we the rallies yeah. we showed you love <laughs> yeah. We 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 grew this pup like like real talk. So it's like, I ain't look, I ain't you ain't delete mine. You know what I mean? I ain't even checking if you did. I got too much out. I get my chili. I get my chili from it every month. So that nigga said, okay. Yeah, okay. I still got it. Hey. <laughs> again, I am your host, Mr. Wowser. This is TDOC. Thank you again for your time, everybody. We are out. Just like yes, to stick up on me, I'ma always be on your side. And you so sexy every time I see you, man, it's on sight. So what you wanna do, dinner anywhere, let's take a flight. Or we could do something different since we used to the high life. Favorite meal whipped in the kitchen, let's Netflix and get high. You feel me? Just Thanks for listening to the Doty Connection. Be sure to follow and subscribe whenever you listen to your podcasts. To read the blog associated with this episode, visit olasmedia.com. This episode was produced in studios located in San Diego, California. Lena Alvarez is co-producer. Serving as executive producer and co-founder is J.C. Polk, and Chad Peace is president and co-founder. Olas Media is an IVC media company. Olas Media.